this shirt is a I love it to see it's a banana republic and as you can see it's a large which I'm not a large I actually stole this I, I stole this two of them I never feel oh, two, two of them was them. always no. mine Hey guys welcome back to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the notification bell down below i don't know my do that come in i'm on anyway <laughs> so today i'm gonna be cleaning out my closet as people said the spring cleaning i don't really call it spring cleaning spring cleaning you know jamaican people stay they like to just big cleaning at christmas time and flip their houses upside down and change curtain everything like gotta come but yeah <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna be doing i normally clean my closet maybe once every month whenever i do flip the room upside down or on a needs to basis sometimes it don't need cleaning after a month but right now it does because i've just been lazy and i've just been in and out throwing things in and out you know just not caring i know in there kind of messy um so yeah so as you can see, and I know you guys normally see this closet in my in my videos most times. Um, so you get to see what's in it today. And the top part, I normally like store sheets and my suitcases are up there. What else up there? Can't remember right now. But things up there, full up. And then now this part um, is where I keep all my clothes. Yeah? Um... And on the floor of the closet, I keep my shoes and most of them are in shoes, shoe boxes. And as I said in previous videos as well, like I have thrown away so many shoes because I realized that I don't really need so many shoes. I just need like one or two good shoes for work because <laughs> that's really all only place I go these days. And then, you know, a few flip flops or whatnot. I think I need to throw away some stuff. And honestly, every time when I do clean my closet, I always end up throwing away at least two pair of shoes. At least. So I think, like, I need to go shopping. <laughs> but I'm not because I really don't have any plans to go anywhere. You know, if I feel like, you know, I'm going to be going out, then I'll probably start shopping online, of course. Alright, so as you guys can see, let me see if I can open up both sides this side not gonna be able to well let's have a mirror there yeah so you guys get to see so as is, this little closet center is not that big it's small let me see if arms length you guys can get an idea so this is like how big it is like my arms apart yeah so do that and then you get the picture um look is it pink paint that was how my room was painted before remember i told you guys in a previous vlog that my room was painted in pink see the paint there <laughs> i don't know i didn't think about letting the painter paint in the closet i don't know why i didn't think about that but yeah and i think the next color is lilac which is the color it was in before yeah but i think all of those are before i actually built this closet anyway the first thing that i think the wise thing to do is to probably take the clothes out because they're all a mess. The clothes up as so. Look. Clothes up as so. Ask me what am I doing first? So they're supposed to be on a hanger, not up there. So not on top of the, the bar. So the first thing I'm going to do is take everything out and then put them on hangers and push them back in. I'll also show you guys a few pieces that I love. But, you know, let's see if I find anything worthwhile showing. <laughs> But yeah, um, lately I've been finding myself shopping at Sheen. She, as I'm been pronouncing it, she in off lately. But Sheen, um, a girlfriend of mine introduced me to Sheen. Very cheap clothes, China made if you ask me. Um, I've been able to get a few pieces that's not so bad on there. And then some others, them just really look cheap like what the freak. <laughs> so, and I've never had that with Fashion Nova. But Fashion Nova is like, triple, like you can get something on Sheen. For like ten dollars and you'll get the same thing on fashion over for like thirty dollars so it's like a big price difference and then with us do I want to stereotype myself as the us girls with a lot of us females these days we tend to wear a lot of our clothes once and just throw them back you know the closet like we're rich or we're trying to impress somebody like I'm not impressing anybody I'm not trying to impress anybody I never have um, tried to impress anybody I don't live for people as you see I don't mind living a meager life because at the end of the day I can look in my back book and smile. 
<laughs> but also I do try to treat myself. I think this shorts I got. Fashion over. I love this shorts by the way. I was going to Ochi um last weekend, so that's how these ended up on there. So because I was trying to fit what I was gonna wear down and I didn't vlog it. But yeah, so um these are some of the things that I was gonna wear and I didn't bother to wear them because yeah so hoodie I love a black hoodie I think you know pink is my favorite color but I think is it is it tell me uh, you guys can drop a comment below is it that you have to stay loyal to your favorite color because ever since I was a child a baby my favorite color has always been pink however I think pink is the only color that I have the least amount of clothes in and I think I don't really like to wear pink but like all my accessories are like pink like so like I have this water bottle it's pink I have you know all my my phone cases if it's not leopard print it's pink little stuff like that they're all pink but I don't wear a lot of pink like the color that I wear the most is black I think black is sexy tell me if I can change my favorite color don't it? I can't change. I don't have to stay loyal to pink. So I love black. I think I wear black the most and I also wear blue the most. I also have this cushion in here because I use it often but um, I would keep it up top because that's where it's really supposed to keep up there so but because I used to often not climb up the sofit every time I wanted so I keep it in here. Also with that I keep this blanket. <sighs> Because when I turn on my AC and it gets really cold and the sheet can't help me, I use this. I love it. I love this blanket because it goes with almost every one of my sheet sets that I have. Um, as you can see, it's animal print. I love animal print. Like, it's my favorite. Yeah. So, I keep this in there too. So, when I see why it's a drunk up. Alright. So, one other thing that I do you guys one other thing that i do and you're not going to be able to see it no because everything kind of mix up but i normally color coordinate my hangers so normally i start off with the yellow and then the orange and the green and you can see them all mixed up right now but not only do i color coordinate my hangers i color coordinate my clothes how i hang my clothes in my closet i color coordinate them so i normally keep the whites here and then the blacks and then I move to the color like the orange and the corals and the blue and the green. But everything is color coordinated. So if I need to find something, I always go by color. Make it much more easier. And also another thing about my closets is that I keep all my going out clothes on this half. And then I keep all my work clothes on that half. So if you guys can look and see properly, it's like mostly like formal looking shirts. Okay. Not, not just formal looking shirts, but dresses. See? So I wear a lot of dresses to work, so I keep them on this side. But I'm going to leave this side for last because since this whole pandemic and working from home sometimes, and I think our workplace has, um, I guess you can say, eased the dress code. So we can wear denim to work any day of the week, but I don't really wear my dresses anymore. So um, <laughs> these have not been worn in a while. So it's mostly jeans and stuff. So this part of my closet is still somewhat organized. Somewhat. We can start over here actually. And I, as I said, I put my stuff on, I uh, stored them on the wrong side. I don't know. It's just like, I don't want like lint to get on them from other clothes. I wouldn't want the lint on this to transfer on this one. So I just turn everything on the wrong side until I'm ready to wear them. That's what I normally do. I'm going to see if I can find a favorite dress to show you guys. I don't think I have one anymore. <laughs> but if I was to say I have a favorite dress. Hmm. Honestly guys, I definitely know I need more space for my closet. But I don't mind. Because I'm still a catch on, I'm still a catch on my mother, yard. <laughs> that goes to show you guys that I'm not trying to impress anybody. I've lived here since I was five years old. I have no shame in my game. I have no shame in, you know, like people, and I haven't had girlfriends like this. As soon as they start working or them have man <laughs> or them feel like they're a bigger man, they're just ready for move out and pay rent and have them own space. No. I'm a nice girl, so it's not like I have any problems with privacy. If I have a boyfriend, my mom will know him and he will come over. 
and that is fine everything is still respectful over here um so that's never a problem for me plus most of my boyfriends always have their own place or since i've been older like you know like when i was like my first boyfriend 22 like my mom and him they were cool so it's not you know it's cool but anyway guys back to my back to my favorite dress as i say i don't have no problem with living at home i'm not trying to deplete my bank accounts i'm trying to and i always say this to myself i always said that i want when i move out of my parents house i move into my house i don't want to be using my money to put in somebody else's pocket to pay your rent because at the end of the day that's not any benefit to you that's not of any value to you in the long in, in the long run like why move to kingston and pay 130 or a hundred thousand dollars for rent when i could use that money to basically mortgage a house even if it's in portmore at the end of the day that will still be mine you get what i'm saying so it's like a long-term investment so i'd rather do that than like move up to pay rent that just don't make no sense so that's why i've chosen to remain at home and honestly anybody who is watching this right now who who feels pressured to move out as long as your parents not pressuring you to move out and you don't have any real issues that you can't deal with i would say stay at home like don't rush to go pay rent because that's depleting your pockets like why do that when you can save why do that when you can invest in something else go to school like you know there's so many things you could do like if i was supposed to be paying rent and going to school like what i did i don't know how i would have managed because my salary wouldn't cut that so it has its benefit and you have to think long term like don't try to impress people like live for you and what's best for your future simple so anyway back to my favorite dress so my two favorite dresses would i'm gonna take them off the thing it will be, and I'm going to see if I can find pictures to show you guys of me and them. Because I'm going to really think more and try them on right now. <laughs> so my two favorite, and it's on the wrong side, would be my collared dresses. You can't see good. Cool. So this one, see, I love the colors. And it's actually, it's actually navy blue and white look. But I know in the picture it looks like black and white. It's actually navy blue. And I had a black and white one that I really loved this one now is also blue and i don't know if it might look purple on the screen but it's navy so both are navy with color except this one is long sleeve and it's like a not pleated but like a baby doll that's what you call it like a baby doll dress yeah so those two are my favorite work dresses oh i have another one i forgot i have another one this one is like plaid and all kind of something I don't remember what this pattern yeah some stripes and this one is okay it's all right and i really bring out vava voom like the other two <laughs> see look i tell you guys that i really don't have a lot of space and sometimes it gets to me because i'm like if i had my own place i'd have more space you know but for now me go on catch i don't mind you know i don't mind honestly i'm just not into bags anymore like that like i just need like one good bag i'm good i didn't even remember that i have this i think i actually got this from my brother i think i, think I got this from my brother or my mother i don't remember my mom got from somebody i didn't buy this though maybe i'll wear it today when i go on the road later who knows but let's see what i can throw in so i have all of these belts and i don't like the belts are from 1960 these are from like 1870 like what the hell i don't i will not be caught in these belts i've had these be remember when the big belt i'm used to wear guys with the skirt and yeah from back then and this is my nice black hat but i guess the sun burn it out and it get may i keep it though you know it's a distressed hat see and it did always cute so i'm not that shit way these belts now they got to go although nothing is wrong with keeping them in the closet you know because not like they're hindering me from putting up other belts so i could actually keep them for keeping them safe sometimes i have to like 
sometimes I have to like make a, what should I say, a conscious effort not to hoard. Are you guys like that? Drop a comment below, tell me. I have to make a, a, a conscious effort like not to hoard. Like, like said to myself, Jody, hmm, you're not gonna wear this anymore. You have this from 1960. Like, throw it out. Give it to somebody. If you don't have anybody that can give it to all, throw it away. You're not gonna wear it. If you wouldn't give it to somebody to wear, or if you wouldn't wear it yourself, don't give it away, throw it away. You know, stuff like that. So this shirt is a, uh, I love it to see, it's a Banana Republic and as you can see it's a large, which I'm not a large. I actually stole this. I stole this shirt from a guy. I went on a wonderful date some years ago and I got cold and he gave me this shirt to put on. And I love wearing, I love wearing like, you know, when I wear a nice little shirt and then I put this over it and the sneakers and you just, it just look like I have on a nice boyfriend shirt i love it <laughs> i love it um yeah so i hope my future boyfriend is not watching this or yeah but i'll never wear this shirt around you i won't wear it anymore when i do find a boyfriend yeah <laughs> i swear i'm a mess i'm a mess but i love it yeah all right so now i'm gonna move to the other side of my closet honestly I just feel like I need to throw away some of this stuff, but then I'm like, what if I need this to wear this here? You know what I mean? You ever feel like that? Drop a comment below to let me know what you guys think. You have ever, ever felt that way? Like, you have something and you're like, I haven't worn this in a while, should I throw it away? But then you're like, no, I might need it for when I go here or when I do this or when I do that. Like, my bed right now, it's a mess. you guys to take a good look <laughs> so I saw you pack up there can I look Two of them I never feel. Oh, two of them was always no. mine. 